organizations today have tremendous advantages because they have so many insights today that they didn't have in the past, right? So the challenges that they face is that they have a lot of data, but they have to turn the data into insights, which many organizations are able to do. But we see a huge challenge into turning insights into actionable to do's for the sales organization in the front line. Let me give you an example. I work with a wholesaler company. Um, they sell thousands of products to thousands of companies. So think about the amount of information they have. What we help them do and what the organization was able to achieve is to predict needs all the way down to the product line level by leveraging the data, right? So they first created target baskets. So depending on the type of organization you were, so let's assume you were a small law firm or a bigger law firm, and let's talk about the needs you might have, right? Let's assume this would be for office products. Um, then you might buy paper, and then you might buy ink, and you might buy writing products. What we were able to be here is we said, if you're a law firm between 15 and 20 people, you should be buying the following basket of uh, products at you know product line level to be able to be at the level where we would expect you to be. What was interesting here is that we didn't leave it there. We then used all that information to actually populate into the dashboard that the individual sales rep would be open the next day. So a sales rep would come in to work on a Monday morning, they would open this dashboard and they would see what opportunities they should follow up on. Some opportunities would be huge opportunity for upsell, cross-sell, based on targets that were defined based on the data. Some opportunities would be around retention. So you typically have a customer that buys from you every four weeks and they buy every $2,000 across three product categories. What you might see now is that they haven't purchased from you in six weeks, or that they only purchase one product category, or that their level of spending went from $2,000 to $200. So this is so much information for the sales rep in a very easy way for them to actually understand and capture that, and take, pick up the phone, get on their car and drive, go see their customer, and now they know exactly who to see first and what to talk to them about. One more thing that's critical about this is the feedback loop. right? I think that many organizations forget how important it is to do a feedback loop from the field back to central marketing uh, for them to be able to continue updating their models and systems because at the end of the day, the sales rep with the customer is always going to have a lot more information than what a model can predict. So we see that leading organizations are able to combine both insights driven from data as well as insights coming from the front line and be able to put both of those together to identify opportunities.